So here we are, RetroPie PlayStation theme, 42 titles packed onto a 32 gigabyte image. And uh, after testing it out, all the games work. You got video snaps, just a nice tight little image and it beats everything I've read about the PlayStation Classic out of the water. So for all those reasons, let's go ahead and look at this option for our PlayStation RetroPie Classic. All right, here we go. A little PlayStation Classic. Whoa, whoa. We can fix that. That happens. A lot of people haven't having that issue. Same with me. Just go back up. Let's start over. I like to go the reverse way. So left thumb, right trigger, left trigger, right shoulder. Okay, all the rest are good. Cool. All right, very simple theme. Ah, it's fine, it's cool. Sound levels, let's go ahead and adjust those. Um, so, PlayStation theme. And if you wanna add new controllers, you go to configure input, but uh, we're good. I'm using the Afterglow Xbox 360 style controller. Um, GameSir TS1 would be be good, a GameSir G3S would be good, or just a PlayStation 2, PlayStation, or I'm sorry, PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 controller would work really good as those are USB connections, so they make for a lot easier. So it looks like we do have video snaps, no artwork, just video snaps. And uh, really basic, but I think where this image is going to appeal to most people is the fact that we really got gypped on the PlayStation Classic, and I would buy this in a heartbeat, a Raspberry Pi with this image um, any day of the week. Now, do know there's some 256 gigabyte images out there. Uh, the Ant Ma Mad Little Pixel has about three of them, version one, version two, and there's a version three. Um, I'd go version three as um, I believe the first two versions will not work on Raspberry Pi B plus because um, it was before uh, RetroPie 4.4 came out. So now that um, RetroPie 4.4 is out, that was the latest version of RetroPie that worked for the Pi B+. But it's also backwards compatible as well. So I'm just going to go through these games one by one and show them off. And then we'll play a few. We'll see what kind if we have bezels or not. Now, as far as PlayStation performance on the Raspberry Pi 3, it's great. I have no complaints whatsoever. When you're in a game, you can hit select and X and go into RetroArch. And within there, you can, um, you know, change some of the, they have some like speed hacks, things like that, which certain games can benefit from. Um, you can change your controls. You can turn on and off your vibration on your controller. You can move from D-pad to analog stick. That's all customizable. Now, it takes a little bit of a learning curve, but once you try it out, it's pretty easy. So this is, a, I believe, a total of 43 games. Hold on, I'm going to go back really quick and just double check. 42 games. 42 games. Nick says 42. And uh, as we're going through the games, the file size itself, it's its actually very small when it's extracted. It was like only 20-something gigabytes. But then you got to unzip it. And when you unzip it, the ISO file, the one that you're going to write to a micro SD card, it's going to be 29.7 gigabytes. That's 31,914,984,000 bytes. Love Ridge Racer. Road Rash. Spiral, all of them. Nice to see. And um, this is going to appeal to a lot of people who don't have necessarily a lot of money because the 32 gigabyte is the SD card that comes with a lot of these Raspberry Pi kits. That's a very inexpensive one as well. Um, you can save your state in RetroPie as well, so that's cool. Twisted Metal, Wipeout, and Xenogears. Let's go ahead and launch a game. So you do have loading uh, screen pre-installed. And you do have the basic bezel for PlayStation. Really nice. So as I mentioned, select an X. Got 
Got him. Finally catching up to some people here. Just tell me go red. Just saying don't go red. I mean, red seems bad, but... Uh, what am I? Lap 2 of 2, 9 of 12. That's not very good. Do you think we get first place by the end of the lap? Probably not. Oh, jeez. Especially if we miss those. Oh. Oh, those are bad. Whoops. What are you? Six. Can we get top three? That would be ideal. Let's get a trophy here. Okay, pretty bad. Pretty bad. So start select out. I had a bad start there. I did have a bad start. Um, let's go ahead and try Tekken. Um, so, so far, I mean, I mean, PlayStation's never been really an issue for the Raspberry Pi. So, I kind of knew going into this that the image would be totally fine. Um, and I'm ripped compared to this guy. Dang, look at him. He's pretty flexible for being so bulky. Tarzaning it up. Alright, so that works just fine. Metal Slug X. So something PlayStation was always doing was spinning those CDs, loading screens. We're still going to have those loading screens even on the Pi. Oh, forgot what jump was. Oh, that was hard to dodge. Come on, buddy. There we go. Then you get on the camel. Oh, and you don't die. All right, so you guys get the point. Do some Ridge Racer. I don't need the rules, let's just play. Something else in recent news is uh, I know a lot of people use Arcade Punk's website and it's my understanding now that they no longer do AdFly and AdFly was like the malware, the pop-ups that everyone hated and uh, supposedly it's all good, which is cool. 
All right, race one, let's do it. One hour later, we're finally in the game. We're racing Roots 99 in Helter Skelter. Man, I just need to assume that gas is always going to be the uh, B button on my controller. There we go. Alright, bad start. We'll make up for it though. We already made up one spot. So no lag, even with the airplane there, that usually kind of sets off the lag a little bit. And the rumble pack works. Getting some rumble. I guess it's not a rumble pack, but. The vibration is working. This guy is kind of a little punk. I'm really digging the, uh, the feedback on this. You get a little feedback when you get air in the, when you make air. You get those wheels off the ground. Tapping it out at 106. So you gotta be a smooth driver. And then you got this. Just keep it pinned. Pin it to win it. Oh, that wasn't so bad. We just lost a few miles per hour there. Nothing crazy. That's where you lost it right there. We just lost the whole race right there. Nah, I think we'll be alright. Except for right here. I thought that was going to be a harder turn. Damn that helicopter though. Getting the good shots. Uh, oh, you don't want none of this. To the line. Got him. I think we could have got first there. All right, so there you have it. 42 PlayStation games on a 32 gigabyte image. Looking good. I'll give this one a thumbs up because, you know, it's a new image. It's got a newer build of RetroPie. It's got that PlayStation theme, and it kills everything I've read about the PlayStation Classic so far. So for all those reasons, it gets a thumbs up. But remember, as I mentioned earlier in the video, that there are some bigger images out there. Or you could start with this one, expand it, and add some more titles to it. You got a lot of little options. So that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.